Well, this morning, we take a look at the Mujaji leadership dispute. This is uh, following the withdrawal of Dr. Matole uh, Motega as the guardian of Musala Naba Mujaji. Princess Musala Naba has uh, turned 18. Uh, Motega has written to the High Court in Pretoria to withdraw as a guardian and applicant in the interdict to stop the coronation of uh, Masala Nabo's brother, uh, Le as king of Balobedi. The uh, royal family and council have differing views. But SABC News reporter Pimani Baloy joins us live for an update on the story. Pimani, uh, good morning to you. I think there's so much to really catch up on, really, for those that haven't been following the story uh, for over the past few years. But let's start with just the dispute, really, and where it started over the rightful leadership of Balobedu. Good morning, Naledi, and good morning to our viewers. This dispute, Naledi, actually started about three years ago. But before I talk about the dispute, let me uh, recap a little bit how the story started out. The story started about 17 years ago when the late Queen Makubu Mujaji passed on and left two surviving children. That is Prince Lukukela Mujaji and Princess Masala Nabu Mujaji. About three years ago, the current regent, Prince Mbapa Mujaji called us into a press briefing and announced that the Royal Council had taken the Mujaji Royal Council had taken a decision to install the Prince Prince Lukukela as the next heir to the throne, which surprised a lot of people because for years that queenship was led by female heirs and everybody had just assumed that Princess Masala Nabo would be taking over that throne. This is where the dispute started when the Royal Council stated that number one, their reason for installing the prince was that they had no access to the princess over the years, stating that her foster parent, who is Dr. Matole Motega, had denied them access to them. He even went, the, the, the region even went to state that the, the, Mr. Dr. Motega had stolen, kidnapped the princess and ensured that they were unable to teach her of their ways. And thus they have decided that instead of installing her on the throne, they would be putting her brother instead as the next heir to the throne. Where we saw last year uh, in 2022 a traditional installation ceremony where the family told us that Prince Lukukela was introduced as the next heir to the throne and that this process will be happening as soon as they've communicated with the president, he will be coronated the next heir to the throne. But shortly after that installation, uh, 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 Naledi, that dispute went to the Gauteng High Court, to the North Gauteng High Court, where an application was brought in to interdict that decision that uh, Prince Lukukela would be installed instead of the princess. And uh, to speak more about that letter that now Dr. Mutsecha has written to that court, I'm joined by the spokesperson of the the Mujaji Royal Council Master, uh, Rony Murasetla. Uh, Mr. Murasetla, thank you so much for your time. Before we get your reaction to this latest letter, we just want to understand what is the latest. There's an application at the North Houghton High Court to interdict the Royal Council's decision to install, to, to coronate the prince instead of her, his, his brave sister, Princess Masala Nabo. Take us through what is the latest regarding that court process. Let me start right away. Mama Pimani, by indicating that uh, it is true we had a, a long and a hard walk after the press conference you've just referred to. We might have appeared, all I know is that we had up to five high court level appearances. It was in the last appearance where the applicant was told in no uncertain terms. The presiding judge indicated that uh, from the facts that were unfolding, the prof, Professor Motseka, was a foster parent by default. He was a self-imposed guardian. Those were some of the contents of the court order on the last appearance that we made and from that point unfortunately it was on the 20th of january where the child turned 18 years of age 
and that in itself automatically nullified him even all the more because when a child is grown to be a measure there is no need for any person who can rise up and fight to say i'm a guardian or i'm a foster parent so from that point we waited for our lawyers to tell us as to what next is going to happen they told us they are looking for a date together with the parties involved including him wherein they must meet come up with the date the date which will finalize the matter or bring the matter to its finality so they wrote to him i'm told he did not honor the invitation instead he just responded with two line email it is now then that uh, they had to look at the matters where they said it is better to summon the person at the center who was being represented, Princess Masalanab. Yes, uh, uh, Mr. Morasli, that's when the High Court ordered that a lawyer representing the princess interest must be appointed. But she turned 18 now. Now there's a letter from Professor Motseha where he says he cannot afford it's unnecessary cost for him to continue as an applicant on this matter. He also states that the princess will continue representing herself as well as the Balobedu Royal Council will continue. But it, where you standing, does this letter nullify the e court e application to interdict this decision? Where does the court, the court process stand in your reading of this letter? No, no, I've gone through the letter, or we have gone, as a council, we have gone through the letter. What is very clear is, despite the fact that uh, there was a court ruling which said the princess will have to be assisted by getting independent legal representatives. The bottom line is at the end of the day, when she turned 20, it nullifies everything which was so ever done. You see, it is the prof who took the matter to high court. And now, when the child was still a minor, now the child is a major. He, even if he tries, despite the fact that he was told to step aside on the whole issue, even if he tries, it is not going to be a winnable case because the child, it is about time that the child must stand on herself. If she wants to appoint, appoint him, so be it. But I think he has realized that he has been fighting a losing battle at all. So to us, we are saying it really looks to be the end of the road for him. But if the princess would love to pursue the matter it is up to her because currently as i'm talking to you the papers to summon her to high court were served to her now that she's an adult no longer to the uh, st step uh, i mean the 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 the, the step uh, what you call parent or the, the the foster parent we're talking about siblings here mr marwa said that this the princess and the prince are siblings who are the only sole survivors of the late king queen and we it sounds like this dispute must be affecting them she stays in Gauteng; they've never lived together how are they coping with these battles i understand she's now in matric she'll be finalizing a matric and the pre the, the princess completed his university uh, 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 education how are they coping with this ongoing Battle. You see, like we said before, this was just an unnecessary undertaking, and especially from somebody who's from outside. Uh, it is not only the two siblings who are emotionally affected by this ongoing debacle, but at the bottom line, it's even the whole nation. It is affecting us because it is actually disruptive to the manner in which we are running our kingdom where we have identified the person who's supposed to be next to the throne and now we are being litigated by an outsider it's affecting everybody in the land it's affecting the whole kingdom and negatively as i'm putting hence that's why i said to you the only favor the prof could do is to bring the child back home to reconcile with the brother so that uh, as a nation as a council we take it from be from there in order to build and reconstruct our disrupted kingdom what's the way forward i understand there's the pending court case which we don't know the status of because of the withdrawal of the prof but what is the way forward when can we expect the coronation of either the prince or the princess what can we expect you see the 
High Court has issued summons to the princess, which summons apparently the prophet does not understand, according to the contents of his letter. The princess has to come before the court so that there is a court ruling on this matter. And after the court ruling, our plea, next plea, would be, because we know it's very clear the court ruling will be in our favor. He has already confessed that he doesn't have a law cast standing on this matter anymore. So after that ruling of the court, is then that we will continue to plead with the prof to bring the child back home so that we start with our own traditional and the customary processes to finalize them so until we will come up with the date when the coronation is about to be but as for now we do not want to count the eggs because before they are hatched because you see sometimes this man sometimes he can somersault at any given stage and hence, I would also direct it to you, to, to, if you are going to talk to him, to establish if he is abiding by the contents of his letter. Because I'm telling you, given the character of him known to us as a nation, the man can somersault at any given time. Thank you so much, Mr. Murasetha. Now, lady, we will be getting, uh, reaching out to uh, Professor Matole Motecha to just give him a right to reply to some of the accusations that have been thrown his way. But also, we have also reached out to uh, an organization that says they represent the princess and asked for an uh, uh, opportunity to sit down with her and get her view. And we were informed that she's busy with her metric ex uh, preparations. She would not be able to speak to the media at any point in time. But we have been given an interview with the Balovedu Royal Council who say they represent the interest of the, uh, the princess and of the uh, Professor Matole Motseha. So now lady, there you have it. This dispute is still ongoing. Both sides believe uh, their selected candidate is the suitable one to take the throne but we it will be going back to the North Gauteng High Court where it will be made clear what does this application, this let request by Professor Matole Motseha that he be withdrawn as an applicant or the matter. What does it mean for the entire court case, that application to have this uh, decision to install uh, Prince Lukukele as the next heir to the throne interdicted? So for now, Anna Lady will be monitoring this situation, but we will be speaking to the Balovedi Royal Council shortly to get their view on this. Naledi?